Alright guys, welcome back. Wyatt Thompson here with a week in review. Week one done. Small junior for my comp squat, so my low bar squat and my comp bench, so my pause bench. This is the week one review. Guys, in this video you'll see clips from days two and three. Day one was uploaded as a vlog on my channel. Go check that out if you want. And then uh, day four, I didn't have a chance to record. Uh, been pretty busy. Um, actually, uh, had a couple had a competitive softball tournament um, where I did pretty good in. And, you know, guys will talk more about that in the video. So, um, so far, all I can say right now is pretty impressed with how this is going, how everything's uh, feeling all right. So, week one, right here, as you guys are seeing, the 7x5 with 75% um, for the bench and the squat thing is, guys. Um, Week one, so uh, got inspired to do this program again because it popped up in my feed. Watch a video on a kid who had like 120 pounds of squat. He wasn't doing small of junior. He was doing actual small off with the peaking cycle and everything. It was like 11 weeks long. But uh, I this inspired me to do the base mesocycle cycle because, guys, I'm all about trying to get as strong as Jack as humanly possible. You know, right now I got, I'm 22 years old. got till I turned 24 in the junior class for powerlifting and eventually want to do a meet i just want to come in as a freak of nature and just in general I just want to be an absolute freak so i just want to do something crazy and you know seeing these videos on small of all these guys adding all the weight you know i've tried this in the past but i never took it as serious as i have this time and so far it's been going great it's been going uh unreal actually so um give it another goal so day one last week six by six First time I've ever done volume on my low bar squat in like a year, and it, it was actually feeling uh feeling great. Um, easy as can be with 350 pounds. I use my use 500 pounds as my max to start. Uh, not 525, but is my actual PR. Kept it a little conservative because in the past, I remember I overshoot my PR or I use my exact PR and I I just die. But this time around, I think I'm finally eating enough calories. So. Week one, the biggest problem, you know, was soreness. It wasn't that I couldn't complete the workouts because the workouts and the loads, like right here as you're watching this 8 by 4 with 400 pounds um, for the squat, it was not hard at all. It was kind of crazy. I come to the gym and I, you know, the, the volume, the lift itself was not hard. It wasn't, like, hard to complete. Even on uh, the 10 by 3 after uh, day 4, when I was doing 425 for 10 sets of 3 after just doing – Eight sets of four, four hundred pounds. That even wasn't that bad. To complete the hardest part was being sore all the time, and uh, just did week two's workout, day one, week two's workout yesterday, and I finally wasn't sore. I think my body finally adapted a little bit to the frequency, the volume. Um, I was, I was just absolutely torn up from being sore, upper body, lower body, all week last week. It was like every single day it was hard to walk, and I think I finally am adapting a little bit. To that, we'll see as the week goes on, though, because obviously, uh, added 20 pounds in my squat for week two, 10 pounds in my bench. But the thing is, guys, week one was a breeze to be honest. A uh, lot of volume, uh, the lifts would get tiring. I mean, obviously, we're doing eight sets of four with 80 percent, you know, um, they get tiring around the last two sets, is like you know, where you maybe slow the bar speed would slow down a bit and it, it'd get a little challenging. You have to really get your you know, the mindset to actually push the lift through. Other than that, though, it felt easy. Um, and honestly, it almost felt like I was progressing workout to workout. Like, I felt a little stronger. and like, kind of surprised. Like, you know, coming to the gym super sore, and you're just, you know, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how the weight's going to feel. You unrack it. It's like, damn, you know, it's not that bad at all. And guys, also, Ed, I didn't really talk about my accessories in from the day two, but... Here's just kind of a little glimpse of what I'm doing. So a small up for squat and bench. Obviously, we're hitting a lot of you know your two biggest comp, two of the biggest compound movements. Um, you're hitting a ton and ton of volume on. So the big question is, can you handle accessories when it comes to recovery? And last week, you know, I felt great all week, progressed throughout the whole week. Just did day uh, day one yesterday, and basically what I was doing is so you got four days a week where you're training. I would do. Um, two days of those weeks, I do upper body accessories, so mostly hit some delts, some lateral raises. As you can see there, I did a little incline press because obviously we're doing a lot of flat benching, so that was almost more for the triceps. It was just like a couple high, a couple sets of uh, the 12 with the 45, nothing crazy. And then right here, we're doing a little tricep banded stuff. So hitting little triceps, little delts, and then uh, 
for my other two days, I do lower body accessories. So on the squat, you're obviously destroying your quads. Um, your glutes can lag, but the way I do a low bar squat, my glutes and my low back and my quads are what was sore. But your hamstrings on a squat are more of a stabilizer. So that's basically what I've been trying to, uh, you know, hit more on my lower days along with more back. I've been hitting back um, every single day. So, you know, so basically I'll hit more upper back have more of an upper back focus day on my upper days and then more of just a total back focus on I guess my lower extremities accessory days um, you know those are the big muscle groups that you're kind of leaving off when you're doing this type of volume on small off so I decided to throw those in right there and everything's been good it hasn't been hindering recovery at all but I've also been sleeping you know great lately which you have to in a program I like this I think it forces you to unless you are an idiot and you try to stay up all night because uh, I get super tired, you know, after doing this type, this type of work. I'm up one pound, but eating 300 grams of protein a day. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.